Sir Gordon, in the first book of uh, Sir Gordon, this is uh, a question from uh, uh, an interested party. It says, Sir, in the first book of the New Testament, the Gospel according to Matthew in the Christian Holy Bible, it reads, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Thus, do the wealthy have a greater responsibility for and unto their fellow citizens than do the rest of us? What about that, uh, Sir Gordon? Uh, that one, of course, uh, in addition to the other question which came earlier from a gentleman called Roger from Uganda, who says, in order for you to succeed in business in Uganda of today, you must have what he characterized as political connections. And then he also went on to say, what kind of advice can you give to people like him who are up and coming business people? What do they need to do in order to succeed and become like you? The first one, which is related to religious, I think I can uh, answer by saying that Yes, he's quoting the Bible, but he has never been there to see that horse really passed through the needle. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I don't have answer for him. But what I say, there have been a number of ups and downs in Uganda. 1965, 1971, 1979, 1985, 86. All these were a trying time to, for us. I believe he was there, mm -hmm. he was alive. How did he manage it? Mm -hmm. So what he's telling us about the cameo passing through the needle, I think he did it that way. How did he do it now? He should go back and reflect his mind to know exactly how he managed to be alive today because a number of people were killed at those times. Mm -hmm. The one who is saying that in order to be successful, you have to have the politician behind you. For him, I'm saying no, that's not the point. We, I, I for one, I don't say that I don't, I'm not friend, friendly to the politicians. I am. But I gauge my relationship with them. I gauge how far I have to go. Mm -hmm. I engage myself to make sure that I am free and fair. And when I'm driving even around, I have, I have no bodyguard. Has he ever seen me with a bodyguard? I have met you in Kampala. Of course, uh, you have no bodyguards to boot. Having you said that, uh -huh. again, we have to support the politicians you like or not, because those are the managers of the day, today business. Are they managers? I thought that uh, they were actually supposed to be your employees no. as a citizen. We look at them as managers. Isn't that where perhaps the problem is? Because why you say that they are managers, there is a number of issues where you find that, oh, these investors, they are special and they are foreigners, and we Ugandans sometimes we come in later and this and that. But I don't want to go to the detail, as I do discuss the same issues with my colleagues, friends, politicians. Mm -hmm. But the issue here, if one wants to be successful, first you have to select what you want to do, and how you want to do it, with whom you want to do it with. Because there have been tendencies of somebody starting a business Within no time, he wants to buy a car. He has never owned a car. He has been living in a small house or with a f big extended family. He's, he wants to rent an apartment. And, 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 and the money borrowed from the bank now is eaten out. So he has no money even to pay the, 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 the bank, bank, bank installments. And he ends up you know, closing down or running away and starting rumors around. And some of them, they know everybody in Uganda better than they know themselves. So that's another problem. But one can start small, and from there he can grow up. Because if I you read my book, if I give you my CV, I didn't start yesterday. No, you didn't. 
Okay? You went through a process. Even there is a say in Uganda now with signed the papers. There are those people who have old money and those who have got new that money and this and that. <laughs> so I'm not going to that, but I'm saying everybody, Ugandan, can be successfully can achieve something. But they need the support from the government. But if there were young people uh, who are very disciplined and uh, uh, really capable of uh, succeeding uh, at some business, would you be prepared, for example, to allow them to climb on your shoulders so that they can see a little bit further than you? There is a number of them. I don't have the list. Those who have worked with me, those who have come to me for advice, or to support them with the banks to get money, really they are there. I, I give you another example. At one time we owned a bank with some few friends. We sold the Nairo Bank. Then I started this microfinancing in Masaka, mm -hmm. Chotera, and uh, Ramagwa, and what have you, with almost little money, and that was my own money. If you go there after five years, what we have achieved now, you can't believe it. Who are running it? The villagers. 